What is going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Made a quick rip to the parts store this morning in the BRZ. Such a fun car to drive. I had to pick up some little terminals. Wow, sick mod. Sick mod to start off the day. But it's sicker than the mod that we currently have on this damn thing. <laughs> uh, I'm freaking ghetto, I know. So basically, our ground terminal cracked. So I had to vice grip it onto the battery. Let's go ahead, get those guys swapped out and we're gonna be moving back to the STI today, getting a little bit more work done on this thing. Car is pretty much done, just needs a lot of little tedious finishing touches. And I wanna build some inner fenders for it too because the like two times I've driven it, completely littered the engine bay and the door jams with rocks. So I need to figure that out. Let's get the BRZ, I mean the FRS moved out of the way so we can get some work done on, on sus. Also, I think it's appropriate that we, we should probably change the name. Car's not really sus anymore. We fixed all of the sus things with it. So comment below, what should we rename sus? I mean, that's a good name, but it doesn't really fit anymore. She deserves an upgrade. I'm gonna let you guys know right now, today's video is not gonna be very interesting. Bunch of little random things we have to do. Um, but I feel like filming it. So if you wanna watch, cool. If you don't, just gonna let you know. It ain't gonna be nothing crazy. So let's get started. First up, we have to wrap these window frames. We wrapped this side a while ago and I never finished off and did the other side. Okay, next up is the window trim moldings. I was gonna buy new OEM ones. They are dummy expensive. I'm gonna vinyl wrap them. Look how much better vinyl looks versus the faded crusty rubber. So let's give them a quick vinyl wrap and see how they turn out. Vinyl wrap on those moldings was definitely not the right move. I should have learned from trying that on the S2K. So I peeled the vinyl wrap off that one and I ended up using some Cerakote trim coat. This stuff worked really, really well. I thought it wouldn't work very good on these moldings just because they're kind of like a rubber plastic type of thing. It's not like a full plastic, like something like this is, but it worked really well. So I'm curious to see how it holds up on this stuff. I know on like regular plastic, for example, that cowl piece down there it works very very good but something like this i'm not so sure so let's go ahead and get all four of these on the car so i got those trim coated i went ahead and got this piece trim coated the other side is a brand new oem one so we can get all of that installed basically today i just want to get everything done on the sti that i can possibly get done because starting soon we have an evo to work on we broke an evo and we gotta work on one of the Evos, unfortunately. Fortunately and unfortunately. I do love working on Evos. I don't like breaking them though.
like I said earlier, a ton of random parts going on in the thing today. Next up, some interior things we have. Well, first up, let's go ahead and see if we can figure out how to program this remote. Car didn't come with one and they're necessary. So annoying not to have it. So let's see what we can do. There's a whole ass article on how to do this. Does not look fun. Hope that I can figure it out. After clicking a billion buttons, we finally got it figured out. All right, a couple things left, not a whole lot, but first up is a new set of OEM floor mats. Cool, right? Wow, so sick, Devin. Not for real though, OEM floor mats, way to go. It's a shame they're all rolled up. Hopefully they flatten out eventually, but let's see how they look. So much better. I dig it. Here's the part number I used for the hatch. If you guys want to pick up a set for your own hatch. We got in this car, both front seat belts were out of the car. They're both locked up. I don't know if they came out of a wreck car or what. My guys over at Safety Restore went ahead and took care of them. Safety Restore is a world leader in post-accident restorations, specializing in seat belt repairs and resetting airbag modules. They're much cheaper to use over buying new seat belts. So these guys are all reset, restored, ready to go back in the car. And we can finally, technically we can finally drive the car. I. Uh, was driving it earlier with no seat belts. A little bit sketchy. Seat belts are installed, all good to go. I'll have safety restore link down in the description box below. Like I said, today was gonna be a pretty random, boring, oddball video. But if you made it to the end, I got a little I got a little gift for you. When Grimspeed sent over all the parts for this build, they did include something that we're actually not gonna be using. This is an 08 to 21 STI boost control solenoid cover in wrinkle red. It looks absolutely beautiful. Our boost control solenoid is relocated so we do not need this guy so if you want it comment hashtag grim speed down below along with your instagram handle so i can get a hold of you and uh, i'll go ahead and pick a winner in a few days sus is pretty much all finished up we are waiting on some vinyl to go ahead and wrap the roof so that should look pretty good and then what else of course the engine build coming up whenever we get the block back and then this car is pretty much done to be honest. We do have to respray this front fender extension because I burnt it when when uh, wet sanding and buffing the car, but I'm still uh, still kind of burnt out on painting and whatnot. So it'll be a bit before we do that. Not a big deal, I can deal with that, I can live with it. I'm just excited that we made it this far with this build. Of course, we still need to tint the windows. A few odds and ends here and there, but it's came a long way, I'm excited. Gonna wrap it here. Peace out my friends, I'll see you guys tomorrow.